This is part three of the Google Docs survey tutorial. Um, and what we're talking about now is what happens after you create the questions in the survey that you like, um, you've got the right theme that you like, um, and you've published it to your website or you use this link to publish it. Then what? Well, once uh, you publish it, then people are going to see a page that looks like this, right? <clears throat> and so they come in and they enter their information into these different fields, um, and then they click on Submit. So the first question is, well, where does that data go? Well, if we go back to our uh, Google Docs page, um, let me just back up one from here. You'll see, like, so for example, here's the one that I created called the Sample Prospect Survey. So when you log into your Google account and you click on Docs, you'll come to a page, you'll, you'll be able to see your uh, form here. So click on the form <clears throat> and it pulls it up in a spreadsheet format and um, so when people submit their data into those different fields you'll be able to then see the data in these various sale cells underneath uh, the different question headers. <clears throat> so uh, that's you know really great but if you get a lot of results um, and let me show you actually this is a survey that we did, um, which actually is kind of hard to to see. Actually, you can see this content window is too small to view uh, the responses. So I'm actually going to pull it up in Excel, and I'll be right back. Okay, so um, what I did is uh, I went to what did I do? I went to uh, File, and then I went to um, download as and then I can you can choose different types of formats that you want to download set download this as and I went to uh, Excel and then uh, I opened it up in Excel and so here's a little bit better view of of the different responses that I got in all the different uh, cells and, and data that people had submitted and what I wanted to share with you was you know I'm looking at this and I started to analyze it and there's just you know there's just a lot of data here you know, to go through and, and try to figure out. So um, I was starting to write a whole bunch of, you know, different things that I wanted my assistant to do. How many, you know, how many uh, people that submitted were entrepreneurs? How many were small business owners? And I was going to have her, you know, compile all this data and then look through all of the, the responses and find out the key, you know, phrases and the, and the, you know, the similar things that people said across all their different responses. And um, as I'm doing this, I was uh, in my account and I went and I clicked on form and I saw this little link right here that says show summary of responses and I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. So I clicked on that link and sure enough, Google does almost all of the heavy lifting for you, So, um, which is just great. So, you know, they created a chart, which, best, uh, which group best describes you? I can already see the percentages and then what's cool is and some of these other questions, they go and uh, Google goes and grabs, you know, some of the more uh, pertinent phrases or or what Google thinks is more relevant or the important responses. And so I can see very quickly, um, sort of a conglomerate of all the different responses across all of these different <coughs> questions, which is just phenomenal. So um, that to me is very very exciting. It does a lot of the heavy lifting, and it's for me the the no brainer reason why I'm going to be using Google Docs now for all my survey needs because uh, it's free and then it has this intelligent uh, summary at the very end. So hopefully you found some use in that and uh, you can immediately apply that for your business as well. Thanks so much.